Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. We're out at the auction today in search of a new mod that I installed in the game. This is the Ferrari 458, uh, a mod that's been created by Lit and is looking pretty sweet, I have to say. I'm um, looking forward to putting this together. It's got uh, like five stars in the, uh, the Steam Workshop and that engine is looking like it's in remarkably good shape. That somehow doesn't seem right. Uh, I'll take a quick peek here though and see what it looks like. Um, so we're going to drag this back to the shop today. We'll get it all ripped apart and totally rebuilt. Uh, looks like a pretty fancy car to have around. Um, I'm not sure whether we'll keep it. We'll probably end up selling it, as I do most of the cars. Uh, just a bit more cash in our uh, in our bank and uh, give us the ability to keep working on new cars and stuff. We have a couple that I've kept in terms of like the uh, the mystery machine van that we did. And I've got the, uh, the Back to the Future car in storage. I think I'll just kind of keep the novelty ones maybe and get rid of the others. Um, I can't see what the like the core condition of this vehicle is, but it looks like the engine's in reasonably good shape anyway. Um, we'll probably have a lot of parts that we can re we can repair on it, uh, which would be nice. Uh, it looks like there is some potentially some stuff missing on the back end. This is a mod, so I don't know whether there will be pieces missing here or the mod is just designed without some. There's definitely a shock missing in the front of the front. It looks like maybe an upper control arm kind of thing there. Upper suspension arm, rather. Actually, same thing on the back end. So... Uh, some suspension pieces missing, but that's not a big deal. Uh, this should be uh, be a sweet grab. Let's get this uh, get this auction started so we can get this thing back as they're working on it. Okay, that jumped up a lot more in value than I thought it would. Our final purchase price was seventy-seven thousand nine fifty-nine. Now the estimated value is eighty-eight thousand six eleven. So, I guess if I had looked at that, I would probably would have expected it to go that high. But uh, for starting it. Under fifteen thousand, and then buying it for almost eighty thousand. Uh, that's a pretty active auction. All right, welcome back to the shop. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't hit up the junkyard looking for any parts for the uh, the Shelby Cobra we got on in the process here, but I'm gonna pass on that for day for today. We'll just focus on getting this Ferrari already. Uh, there it is over there. It's looking super dirty, so obviously it's gonna need a cleaning first. <laughs> that's really really grungy. You can't even tell what color it is underneath. I'm pretty sure it's red, but. I don't really know for sure. Let's clean it off. Let's find out. Well, that's why I blended in so well to the dirt. It's like a... Almost like a burnt orange kind of a color. Not cool, all right. I guess that's not bad. I kind of like the idea of a red Ferrari, though. So that's probably what we're going to wind up painting this thing. But uh, all clean. Ready to go. It's looking, uh, looking a little nicer on the inside and everything, too. Oh, interesting. With the... Uh, this mod, you can actually see the parts clipping through into the floor of the car. Don't look there, folks. It's fine. Alright, as first, I guess we'll, uh, or as always at first, we'll just, the first thing we'll do is just rip everything down, get it all stripped off of here. I don't know uh, exactly what the layout for this mod is going to be like. Sometimes there are body parts in odd places on the vehicle because they represent something else. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Drunk. A whole bumper out of the back here. Sometimes the uh, the body components that are not normally repairable are also repairable with a mod. Not like windows and stuff, but sometimes lights and things. We'll see what that's like here. Uh, get the interior ripped out. I mean, overall, considering this thing looked just awful in the the uh, little auction thing there, seems to be in reasonably good shape. I mean, most of the parts that are left in it are in like the 60-70 range, which isn't really bad. Uh, battery we can charge up, so that's good. We won't have to buy one of those. Which a fuses we'll have to get, of course. Alright, perfect. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fluid draining here. I suspect we'll probably have to drain the oil out of this thing, too, if it uh, has any kind of an oil pan still attached to it. Mmm, delicious. Oops. There we go. Front's toast. Uh, we have to get over the lift to get the fuel tank out, I'm imagining. This engine looks like it's in reasonably good condition. It's crazy. And it appears to be pretty much complete. That's pretty sweet. Get our coolant out of here. The power steering's got to go. There's a brake servo there, so I'm sure we got to get the brake fluid out. Very nice. Let's 
<laughs> Look at the air filters. They're just sort of hanging out. They're not really... <laughs> they don't even have, like, a casing or anything around them. Um, Alright, so we've got the ABS module here. Again, looking like it's in reasonably good shape. I don't know if that's ever repairable, but I guess we'll find out. ECU's gotta go... Okay, I think everything else we're gonna need to get underneath the car for... Fairly certain, anyway. Yeah. Alright, let's get this thing lifted up. Up so they go to the right side of it. Oh. We also only have one wheel on this thing. I guess I'll need to be buying some rims and tires for it. Oh, nice. Most of this stuff is going to be easily repairable. This thing was like in an accident or something. Maybe that's why part of the suspension is missing. Why most of it's in good shape. I mean, there's not really any accident damage you see on the vehicles in terms of like crumpled body panels or anything like that. All the damage in the game is pretty much represented just as rust, unless it's a plastic piece and then it's just got like this kind of splotchy look to it. But I suppose it could have been an accident, maybe. Toast, fuel tank taken apart here. The rear suspension confuses me because there's very little left here. Actually, let's see. What does it tell me I gotta put on? Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, definitely. So the, we've got our drive axles. Our upper suspension arms are missing on both sides. We're missing the shock on both sides. Calipers on both sides. So there's there's a bit missing back here. Nothing crazy, but based on the parts that are here, though, we should have a pretty high success rate in terms of getting stuff repaired, and then uh, we'll be able to reuse most of it. Um, I probably should put performance parts in the engine. For what we have, anyway. So, um, there'll be a little bit of expenditure based on that. That's not bad, I guess. Starter out of here. Alright, fantastic. Let's get the engine hauled out. Uh, ooh, there is an oil pan on it, so <laughs> I, I spotted that the last second. So we're definitely going to want to do this. Let's not make a spill if we can avoid it. Eh, quite a bit of oil in it, too, actually. A lot of time the wrecks have basically nothing. Okay, she's clean. Double check, we got everything off of here. Uh, oh, is there a back window there? I can't tell. Let's see if there's any glass in that back panel there. It just says body. I think we're alright. Okay, let's get the body welded in this thing. We'll get it all spick and span. Not really a noticeable difference there. It was already in pretty decent shape. And our shocks ripped apart. There's only one. <laughs> only one, one, one wheel to take apart, too, I guess. Okay. 
On the body side of things, again, most of this we can fix, and even the taillights are fixable in this. It seems to be the, the case pretty much only with the, uh, only with the modded cars. Can't fix the taillights and headlights and stuff normally, but that's okay. Uh, we'll still have to buy, like, windows and glass and stuff. Oh, God, no, I, all right, I broke the trunk. <laughs> Whoops. Still have to buy windows and glass and apparently now a trunk. Uh, and there is a door we're gonna need, too, because we only got one door, but that's okay. Not bad overall. Uh, we only had... No, we got all four of the brakes we can lay, so that's good. See what how many of these things we can get fixed. Okay, I fixed what I could, including doing the uh, the uh, the brake this and stuff at the brake station. Um, I did some shopping as well. We have uh, most of the pieces that we need ready to go there. Let's. Uh, I think what I'm going to do. I haven't pulled the engine apart just yet, obviously, but um, I think we'll rebuild all the suspension and uh, the body and stuff on the car first, and then we'll uh, we'll rip the engine apart. Get it rebuilt and then slot that back in. Just do something a little bit different order than what I normally do it in. Um, I did have to buy a couple of new rims for this thing because uh, we only had the one wheel to work with. Uh, I decided to go with some slightly larger tires than what it had on it. Uh, I'm using a little bit wider tires on the back than on the front as well so we can try to like improve our traction for acceleration and stuff. Probably still like slide all over the place as soon as we hit the gas, but what are you going to do? I mean, short of putting slicks on it, we can't entirely stop that, and I don't want every car to have slicks. But we'll see what happens. Okay, wheels are all back on, got those balanced. Uh, let's start with the body, I guess, and make sure I got all the pieces I need for this. I did have to buy the trunk, because I unfortunately broke it while I was repairing it, so go me. Fancy trunk window in there, rear bumper. Ooh, the spoiler I didn't get, so we're gonna have to grab that. I did get both of the taillights. I'm fairly certain I didn't get a spoiler. Oh, I do have the spoiler. Car part one. Wait, was that in good shape? Yeah, it was fine. All right. I guess it must have been on there when I pulled it apart and I got it fixed. I didn't realize I had it. Left body window, left door. I realized while I was taking stuff apart that I forgot to pull the headlights out, but we got that taken care of. There was only one headlight. I fixed it, and then we had to buy the other one. Uh, but that's looking good. Their fender. Ooh, I thought I had that one. Uh, all right, right front fender. We don't need that. Um, that on our shopping list. Into the Ferrari. Uh, right fender. There we go. Funny, the parts I'm buying... Oh, I was going to say, the parts I'm buying for the shop seem to be... Same color, but I guess they're not. Actually, it looks kind of neat with that black in there. Maybe not with the whole black door, though. But it, I, I kind of like the little black accent, like, right behind, like, the the rear part of the front fender. It looks kind of cool. Oh, don't have the window. Did I get this? Yeah, <laughs> nope. Guess I missed a few things when I was shopping. Okay, I think the body's all in tip-top shape. Uh, I did buy the uh, interior pieces as well, so we can put those in, pop in our seats and our steering wheel while we're here. Fantastic. Okay, so the body should say that it's at 100% now. Frame and interior is 100%, body 86%. Oh, I haven't got the license plates on. That's probably part of it. Uh, am I missing anything else, though? I don't know. I guess maybe we'll see when we get the rest of it together. I don't have the license plates on it. That's certainly something. One license plate shouldn't be making that big of a difference, I don't think. Aside for the license plate, I don't see any other shadowy outlines here that I should be filling in, but... Oh, it looks good. Alright, on to the suspension. Um, I have some parts for the engine com compartment as well that uh, we'll need to drop in there, but we can do that at the same time we do the engine. So we'll start with this first. I didn't get the uh, upper suspension arm, so we're going to have to get those. But I think I bought most of the rest of the parts that we're going to need. Oh, I didn't get bushings yet either. D definitely we're going to need bushings. Oh, nor did I get the rear drive axle. Okay, so we need... Uh, let's add that to the list. 
Sorry, I tried to do most of the shopping while I was taking stuff apart so that it wouldn't uh, take up a whole bunch of time popping in and out of the store, but we uh, really missed a few things. I don't know how many I need. We'll just grab like a dozen. Uh, all right, so the upper suspension arm I don't have. We're gonna need two of those. I wasn't sure what type of um, wasn't what sure what type of shocks we have at the back here. I think it might be the double wishbone rear shocks, but I want to just double check before we buy the pieces. Yep, double wishbone rears. Okay. Two of those. We need rear springs. And type. There we go. Rear caps. These will be quick to slam together at least. Perfect. Okay, that's all good back here. I'm gonna put the wheels on as well since we have those already. Okay, so I went with, um, I'm gonna do the 265s at the front, 295s at the back. Why do I only have three? <laughs> Something. Something's not right. I ended up with a rim that doesn't have a tire for some reason. I don't know how that happened. One of them's not balanced. That's what it is. There we go. That's better. Alright, much better. So 295s in the back, 265s in the front. Now, again, I, I probably should have just put slicks in the back of this thing based on how the cars accelerate in this game. But we'll try the sport tires at the back and see what happens. At least I made, I made them a little bit wider, so hopefully that will give us the added traction we're going to need. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I didn't look at what size those were. Ah oh, man, these might have been the right size, but I didn't look at the sizes. I was slapping it on. I gotta make sure they're all the right size here. Uh, two ninety-five. There we go. We fixed the steering rack. Oh, sway bar I bought. Steering rack is fixed. It's good. There was actually almost all the pieces I was able to fix on the car. There were only a few that I wasn't able to. Uh, obviously, the ones you can't, like, you can never replace, like sway bar links and the sway bar itself and hubcaps and that kind of stuff. Brake pads. Uh, but all the pieces that, uh, that you would normally be able to fix, but not if they're too low condition, they were all, uh, they were all decent enough I could fix them all, so... They've got a bit on parts there. See what we get out of the engine. Now, we're going to be doing performance parts in the engine, so there's going to be a lot more pieces to swap out. Not bad for this section, though. Alright, front left done. Pretty sure for all these ones up here, yeah, I'll have to get up from into those from the engine area. I'll take a little more, a little more maneuvering.
Oh. Alright, I don't have the upper suspension arm. What? <laughs> Did I not just buy that? Oh, I'm out of bearings. Oh. No, bushings. I'm out of bushings. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't put the sway bar link on the other side, I don't think. Probably gonna want to do that. There we go, that's better. Okay, uh, suspension's all done. Looking good. If you didn't know this thing didn't have an engine in it, you'd say it's just about ready to go. <laughs> Sadly, it, it, it doesn't have an engine in it. Um, okay, we got a couple things to put up front here. We got our windshield washer. Now the battery I'm still charging with the fuse box I got taken care of. Drop all these in. All right, that's all done. Oh my god, I didn't grab the intercoolers out. Those are still there. Uh, what? I don't understand. When I was looking before, I didn't see those things. Shoot. Well, clearly we need to swap those out. I could swear I'd, I'd even done an inspection mode on this thing to make sure I had all the parts out of it, but apparently I didn't get the intercoolers. There they are. Yeah. Now, those are maybe repairable, I, I think. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that's better. Man, that would have stopped me for a bit if I hadn't uh, spotted that. Uh, these ones I gotta get to the end of the bay to get in. Alright, so we've got everything else back here taken care of. I think that's all good to go. Yeah, the other fluids and stuff will have to go in the back. Uh, let's lower the uh, lower the car down because we're gonna need to have it down to put the engine back in anyway. Pop our trunk open here. You see, we got power steering reservoir replaced, coolant reservoir. That's good. Filters. Our performance ones for those. Brake servo. Get our ABS in place. <laughs> We're pouring it through the filter. I'm sure it's fine. Not the wrong little oil in your filter. I'm sure. The following part is missing for the car. Water pump. Oh, I can't fill this up because... Alright. <laughs> I guess I can't fill those up until we get the engine back in. So we've got everything except for the engine taken care of in here. So as long as you don't want to go anywhere with this car, it's ready to roll. Or, well, ready to sit, anyway. Uh, let's go get the engine on the stand and get it all ripped apart. Uh, then I'll need to do some shopping to get the... Um, get the performance part for this stuff to, to redo. Yeah, and same with the... Uh, same with the greater part of the, the car there. I think most of the pieces here are going to be repairable. Aside from the th things we couldn't have repaired anyway, like... Ignition coils and spark plugs and all that kind of stuff.
There's going to be quite a few uh, parts here to replace with performance ones, too. you got your plugs, you've got your ignition coils, your fuel uh, fuel rails, you've got um, camshafts, which you can't take apart. You're going to have your engine heads, lots of stuff. So even though we'll be able to fix a lot of this, I'm, I'm going to wind up replacing a bunch anyway, I guess. this mess off the front of here. Yeah, there's belts and pulleys going everywhere here. Uh, okay, this first. Now let me get this belt off. That's it for rollers and pulleys. Uh, we got our manifolds off of here. Timing covers off. Yeah, the glare on here, I can't even see some of these things. It's like, like hidden. All right, uh, timing belts, those can go, cam gears, and then we can get our camshafts out. Tagging a few things for shopping purposes as I take these apart. Because I'm I probably forget to do that and then I have to go through my inventory and find them or buy them on the fly while I'm reassembling, but I'd rather like stock up and have most of the parts ready before we have to put it all back together again if I can. Alright, let's see for the top of the engine. Let's flip this thing over. We're looking for rod caps. Actually, it looks like these will all be repairable. That's good. Not that they're expensive, but it's just another, another nuisance thing to have to buy otherwise. It's like the same thing with the uh, the crankshaft bearings. Out. I'm gonna replace all the pistons, of course, with the performance ones. So they can't they can't be repaired anyway. So one way or another, we were gonna have to buy them. But we'll go for the performance. Uh, and then our engine block, perfect. All ripped apart. Uh, let's see what we can fix with this now. It'll be quite a bit. 
All right, I fixed what I could, which was just about everything, actually. Uh, and then I did some shopping to get all the pieces that we need to get it all assembled. So I'll save a little bit of time on the video of, uh, like, going in and out of the store. But needless to say, I think we've got just about all the parts we need. Including the performance parts that we'll be putting on this, uh, this fine vehicle. Here's to see what kind of power we get out of it, if it'll be, like, a significant boost or not. This thing's using a V8 as the engine. I don't know if that is actually what the Ferrari uses or not. It should be uh, should be good to go once we get this all reassembled and then back into the uh, the engine compartment. A couple of things we need to top up with fluid still because I couldn't do put them in just yet without the engine in the car. But uh, when we get that, then we'll get it over. We'll do the uh, the alignment, give it a nice paint job, send it over to the dyno and see how it does. And then of course you have to take it to the test track because it's just a requirement. Now the, the big question is: Do we paint the car? Something like a traditional red kind of Ferrari look, or do we go with some sort of god-awful ugly color? Because, I mean, it's kind of like, it's becoming a tradition for us that we have to do the god-awful ugly looking car. Or at least the, uh, the ungodly weird paint job. Maybe not, maybe it won't be like completely ugly, but just something that you wouldn't normally expect to buy on a Ferrari, maybe. All right, that's it for pistons. Slap on the oil pan. We'll flip this over. We we'll get the top of the engine built. Looking forward to getting this thing on the track and seeing how it drives. Again, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that I probably need to put slicks on the car specifically just to get the kind of traction that I want. But yeah, I don't know. It just, just feels weird to have slicks on every car you build. Quite a few performance parts for this thing, too, actually. Oh, you know what? I have no idea whether this mod has the exhaust system fleshed out. So, I didn't notice if there were mufflers or anything we had to have on the, the other part of the car. We've got the exhaust manifold here, but I don't know if it goes to, like, a, like any kind of, like, muffler or exhaust system in this, in this mod. It might actually be missing. I guess it isn't that big of a deal, but... Timing cover going on. It'll look fancy and shiny when we're done. It's that throttle here. Performance throttle. Alright, I think we got everything except for the front of the engine now. Get all the rollers and stuff on and the uh, the belts, water pump, and we should be ready to go. Oh, that wasn't right. Apparently I didn't replace the pulley. 
There we go. That's it. Aside from like the uh, gearbox and stuff, anyway. Ooh, which reminds me, I probably should buy. Uh, probably should buy the custom gearbox for this. So we'll tag that. Oops. Get into here. Gearboxes. Gearbox V8. That's better. All right. Get this off of here. We'll get it in the car. Oh man, this is gonna be sweet. This is a really nice looking car, actually. Yeah, this can go back. Only a little bit to, to put... Whoops. Gearbox on this side. Right, right, right. Um, only a little bit to finish this thing off. Man, we're so close to being done already. Oh, I gotta be under the car for this. But that's okay. We can do the uh, the fluids and stuff now that we've got this taken care of. Now that there's an engine in here, it might actually accept the fluid. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Oops. Oh, just can't close that. All she needs is a gearbox and she's ready to go. Oh, uh, oh and the starter too, I guess. That's probably a thing we, we might also need. But I fixed the starter, so we have it at least. Okay, that's bolt, starter, and we're done. Hopefully. We gotta, <laughs> we'll have to check the condition. It's entirely possible I missed something here. I think we got it all taken care of. Oh, it looks great. All right, body's still only 86%, but uh, again, I need a license plate for this thing, so I guess I should do that. Uh, let's go plates, pick something down here. Utah, why not? Utah plates on here. Life elevated. Seems appropriate for a Ferrari. Still 90% of the body. There's something I'm missing here. What did I miss on the body? Huh. Part C3, part 2C, and the engine cover. I have no idea what parts those are. That might present a problem. I don't even see, like, an engine cover or anything here. What have I got? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the engine cover. Okay, so we'll tag that. What are parts C2 and C3? 3C and 2C. There's the engine cover. It looks like tail lights, but right, so we got the engine cover. For my car, part 3C. Side skirts. Oh, okay. So, side skirts, special right. On that part. And then 2C, skirt left. Where even are those on the car, though? <laughs> that looks really cool. Wow. Uh, okay, I have no... Oh, there it is right there. All right. We got this. I don't know how I missed that. This one even looks like a little, little bit damaged. A little dented up there. Okay. Now it should be good to go. I hope. Yes. 100% across the board. It looks really nice in red, but 
you know me, I don't think we're gonna go with red. <laughs> All right, off to the uh, test path. Get our alignment sorted out and headlights aimed, etc. Uh, I'm gonna take somebody's suggestion and actually uh, tow the uh, the front tires out by like a quarter of a degree, which apparently should help with handling. Let's see what happens. Enter to try anyway. There we go. That's all squared away. All right, what kind of a god awful paint job can we give this thing now? I mean, we've done paints and stuff before uh, that were like pinks and gaudy green colors and stuff like neons. I wonder if we could make this thing look gold. Oh yeah, there we go. Gold chrome Ferrari. I mean, why not, right? Actually, all the chrome colors are they're just so interesting. <laughs> Silver. Chrome black doesn't even like look chrome. Alright, let's go with the uh the gold chrome on here. Now, <laughs> welcome to our golden Ferrari. That is gonna glare horribly in the sun. <laughs> All right, off to the dyno. I have no idea what I'm doing with these custom gears, but I feel like we need a sixth gear, and we're gonna lower this setting down a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot. I said like a three. Um, I don't know. Bump this up, I guess. See what happens. There's no oil! Oh man, I was so good about putting the rest of the stuff in the car. Always the oil. Accessible with the engine bay, I gotta go from the back end. Alright. Let's get some oil in this thing. Always missing the oil. I did every other fluid, and I forgot the oil. <laughs> Alright, good enough. I've gotten a respectable 828 horsepower out of it. That's all right. I still feel like our, I mean, our station wagon had that supercharged engine in it. Keep comparing everything to the station wagon because that's the one that was the craziest, I think. Okay, let's take this to the speed track though and see how it handles. Oh okay, yeah, that looks pretty ridiculous and shiny gold, but here it is in all its glory. Now, actually, could we accelerate without? Spinning in circles. Nope. <laughs> that gear is not so good. Okay, I, need to, I need to feather it up a little bit. It's lined up. Man, I can't steer. <laughs> oh. All right. Not for the first time. It's a good thing we uh, we don't have body damage in this game. Oh. <laughs> I ran out of room. Three hundred and sixty-six kilometers an hour. No, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. We just need to get we need to get the maximum runway on this thing because like I can't accelerate without losing control. If I you know if I had just put slicks on this the way I said I should, <laughs> we probably wouldn't be having these problems. Oh 
Oh my man. <laughs> All right, 421 kilometers an hour, and it was still accelerating when I hit the wall. So we still had a little more room to go, but uh, that's about the best I'm going to be able to manage there, because we just don't have enough don't have enough driving space otherwise. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, all right. Well, there it is anyway, our fancy gold Ferrari 458. Not bad. I mean, it uh, could do with a little bit more traction, but we did get it up to a good speed, 421 kilometers an hour. Could do with going a little bit faster. If I had a little more room or a little better traction for acceleration, we definitely would have gotten higher. I'm thinking probably 500. It's definitely one of the nicer looking cars we've done. I mean, outside the paint job. Uh, but uh, definitely one of the nicer looking cars we've done so far, and I think this one might be one of my faves. Uh, let's see what it will sell for ultimately, because we're just going to cash this one in and use the money to keep doing more cars, I guess. Ooh, that's a good price. So we bought it at uh, seventy-seven thousand nine fifty-nine from the auction. Put some uh, performance parts and stuff in it. Repaired a whole lot of stuff. And now we're selling it for three hundred and thirty-four thousand seven hundred and ten. Not bad. Not bad at all. Two hundred fifty-six thousand seven fifty-one profit relative to the sale price. But of course, then we have the parts cost and stuff in there anyway. See you, car. Thanks for the money. For the first time, we're over half a million in credits. Giving us uh, pretty much the ability to do whatever we want to. But uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out at the shop again tonight. Uh, we'll definitely have another live stream of this again in the near future. We can keep working on some more cars. And we do a little bit more work on our Shelby Cobra in here and get it all, all ship shape. Uh, I did happen to get a couple of other cars while I was poking around looking for something to, to, that I felt like building. Uh, so we've got this uh, Luxor Gold Trail over here I think we might tackle next. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can swap out an engine in that one. Get it all fancy looking and stuff. I also got another Bizzarini to flip just for the sake of getting money. But uh, yeah, we'll tackle some of those next time. But thanks so much, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time. <laughs>